Hey folks, we're going to be looking at uh, related rates of change in this um, session here. All right, so let's begin. Now, the best way to talk about this um, rates of change is just to look at, um, well, look at an example here. Um, just want to show you guys this. So imagine you've got a circle here. So this circle obviously has got a radius and a circumference um, and an area. Now let's say it starts increasing. So as you can see, so let's say it increases, and as it increases, what you'll notice is the area has changed, the radius has changed, and the circumference also changes as well. So, and if it keeps on going, these three things change. But they're all linked together though, and that's what I wanted to talk about here today. So as this blue circle gets bigger, the radius gets bigger, the area gets bigger, and the circumference also gets, get, um, gets bigger. But it's all with respect to time. Now that's uh, in words. Now if we want to write this as symbols, we, you might have seen something like dy dx before, which is rate of, uh, well, when you differentiate y and you get, um, sorry, when you differentiate y with respect to x, you get dy dx. But in this case, I'm going to talk about dr dt. So what dr dt basically means that it's the rate of change of the radius with respect to time. There we go, with respect to time. All right, so that's what dr dt is. So that's looking at radius when it changes with respect to time. We can also do it with area, where if we write dA dt, then this means rate of change, rate of change of area with respect to time. And of course, you can also do that with the circumference, because you can write dc dt, which is the rate of change of circumference with respect to time. Now, you can actually put all of these things together. For example, you could actually say, you could also have dA dr. I mean, it's just an example to show you guys here. dA dr is rate of change of area with respect, oh, sorry, let me just go back, with respect to radius. So that's dA dr. So how do we get dA dr? I guess that's what I wanted to show you guys in the next slide. So we've got dA dt, we've got dr dt, and we've got dA dr. Now, we need to figure out a way that we can actually put all of these three things together. Now guys, some of you might not actually be, be completely lost at this point, um, at this moment. Don't worry about it, because I'm, I'm going to go through an example and it'll start making sense. Um, the best way to do rates of change is um, when you actually do the problems, you can actually start seeing the connections being made. But at the beginning, it just seems a bit, um, bit way. So at the moment, I've got DADT. I've got these three things, and I've got to figure out a way to putting, um, of putting them together. What I can do is I can put dA dt equals dA dr times dr dt. Now, one thing you need to remember with this notation is, um, I know this looks like, I mean, it's almost like you treat it like fractions. All right? You treat it like fractions, and while you can't really cancel out the drs, but you kind of think like that. So it can be thought as cancelling the drs, but that's not really what's happening. And as you can see, those two drs kind of disappear and you're left over with dA dt on the right-hand side, and you've got dA dt on the left-hand side as well. As I said, look, don't stress too much if, if nothing makes sense at the moment. Um, I've always struggled um, with making a video for this particular topic, but I'm, you know, I've got to give it a go. Uh, let's have a look at an example and see if things start making sense. And I'll do a couple of examples um, so you can see the two different styles of rates of change question. Okay, so here's the first question. A water puddle is formed by a leaking tap. The radius of the puddle is increasing at 0.2 millimeters per second. Calculate the rate at which the area is increasing when the radius is 4 millimeters. All right, so we've got radius is increasing at 0.2 millimeters per second. So we can write dr dt equals 0 0.2 millimeters per second. The next thing is, it's, the question is asking you calculate the rate at which the area is increasing when the radius is 4 millimeters. 
So we're looking for dA dt. That's what we're looking for when the radius is 4 millimeters. Now from the previous example, I mean like I know I kind of started off very vaguely with that um, blue circle. We kind of know that dA dt is dr dt. Well, I think we did that, but like in this case, we've, we're looking for dA dt. And we have got dr dt, but we've got to figure out what we can multiply by. All right. So in, uh, remember like in the previous um, example that I showed you guys how you can actually cancel out things. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to have dA where that first question mark is in the numerator, and in the denominator, I want to have dr. And the reason is, when I write it up, when I write them up as an equation, you would notice that the, the two drs, they kind of disappear. And you're left with dA dt on the right-hand side and dA dt on the left-hand side. All right, now we got to figure out what dA dr is. Because, I mean, we don't actually have, any, we don't actually know what it is. But what we do know is to figure this out, we know that area of a circle can be written as pi r squared. So area is equal to pi r squared, which means if we differentiate this, we're going to get dA dr. So when we differentiate area of a circle, we get dA dr. And when we differentiate pi r squared, and because it's respect to r, we're going to end up with 2 pi r. Okay, now we have all the things that we need. So we can actually go back and put things... So as you can see, now we've got dA dr. So we can write that dA dt is, we know what dr dt is, because that's in the pink box, which is 0.2, multiplied by dA dr, which is in this pink box, which is 2 pi r. So this is the equation for dA dt. Now, the question is asking you, find the rate at which the area is increasing when the radius is 4 millimeters. So... Are, we just have to replace the r with 4. And when we simplify this, we get 1.6 pi, and that's millimeter squared per second. So as you can see, in this question, we were given a rate, and we were asked to find a different rate. But majority of these questions, it's going to be like this, where you get, where you get given a rate, and you have to use a formula to differentiate, to put it back into this big equation that we um, created. So in every situation, you would have a rate, and then you've got an equation that you've got to differentiate and put them all together. All right, let's look at another example, and hopefully this made sense. If not, feel free to ask questions in the comments. I'm happy to clear them up. All right, so the next question is, you've got an angle marked A in this right angle triangle, is increasing at a rate of 0.5 radians per second. Calculate the rate at which the length marked x is increasing when a equals pi over 6. The diagram that I wanted to show you guys is right here. All right. So oh, one more information is that that length there is 20 centimeters. All right, let's see what, what we can do from this question. First off, we've got angle marked a. That's that right there and it's increasing at 0.5 radians per second. So we can write dA dt equals 0 0.5. The next thing is, what are we looking for? We're looking for the rate at which the length x is increasing. So the length x, which is on the left side, is increasing. So we're looking for dx dt. Now, we'll try and make a chain rule equation. So we're gonna put dx dt equals dA dt multiplied by, again, there's, remember those two question marks. We're trying to figure out what we need to multiply by. So again, the same kind of trick that we did before. We move dx and the numerator, dA to the denominator. So in our chain rule would look like this. dx dt is dA dt multiplied by dx dA. Now, as you can see, both of those DAs kind of cancel out, so you've left over with DX DT on the right-hand side and DX DT on the left-hand side as well. So we need to find an equation linking X and A. And I guess, you know, not everything is going to be a circle or a nice little formula. Sometimes you've got to work out your own formulas as well. So this is what we've been given. We need to figure out a way to link X and A together. 
What we do know is this is opposite of an angle and that's adjacent. So we can write tan of an angle is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So we can say tan of A equals opposite which is x divided by 20. So rearranging this we can write x is equal to 20 tan A. Now we have that equation. Remember how we had in the previous question we had the equation of um, area of a circle where area was pi r squared and then we had to differentiate it? Well in this case we've got x equals 20 tan a. We need to differentiate this. So if x equals 20 tan a, if we differentiate x with respect to a, we're going to get dx dA. When you differentiate 20 tan a, you've got 20 sec squared a. So now we've got dx dA, which means we can put it back in that big equation in the red box. So I'm just going to copy that red box down. I've got dx dt is dA dt times dx dA. Now I've got to replace everything. So dA dt it was 0 0.5. dx dA is 20 sec squared A. And I guess the question is asking you the rate when A is equal to pi over 6. So 0 0.5 times 20 sec squared pi over 6. Okay, so remember that sec is 1 over cos, so 20 times 0.5 is 10, and I can write this as 10 over cos squared pi over 6. And from here, when I solve this, I get an answer of 13.33, and of course this is centimeters per second. So dx dt is 13.33 centimeters per second. So guys, in this one, a couple of things you need to be careful about is make sure your graphics calculator is set in radians when you're solving this. And what else that you can potentially make mistakes in? Uh, sometimes they change. You've got to just keep keep in mind of the units. But apart from that, um, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, what I will do is, I mean, I'm going to stop here because I know there's already 12 minutes. Um, I will probably make another video which is a bit more challenging than the ones that we've done so far. But that's a, that's pretty much some of the ideas guys I mean there's so many different varieties of doing rates of change question so have a go I mean if, if there's any questions yeah just flick me a message in the comment section or just flick me flick me an email all right thank you for watching